Our fourth speaker this afternoon is Michelle. The title of Michelle's speech is Back Pain, More Science, Less Superstition. With the speech entitled Back Pain, More Science, Less Superstition, please give a big welcome to Michelle.
and you get odd, weird, numb sensations or kind of pins and needles, stuff like that happening. So, yeah, if you have any symptoms like that, seriously, go to your doctor, hassle for a scan. Because this got worse. I found I couldn't sit. I found after a while that I couldn't lie down. So this is great. I can't stand up. I can't walk more than a few metres. I can't sit down and I can't lie down without being in pain. So I got given a whole load of painkillers, which were dreadful. They made me feel really bad. I was sitting at work. My eyes were kind of going like that every few minutes and I was having problems staying awake. So I was in a meeting like this and then once in a while I'd be going, like, well, no. And people were beginning to think that I wasn't interested in what was going on. I mean, it was pretty dull. Uh, so it, it was this, you know, introducing some database thing and some guy was going on. It wasn't even my main area. So, yeah, people get the wrong idea. I couldn't go to work all the time, which was a bit of a nightmare. It totally wrecked huge amounts of that seven months of my life. They tried two things which they tried to do, which helped. One was a caudal epidural. Now, it's a bit like the epidural that women have when they're pregnant, except it's done a lot lower down, which is a lot safer. And it has an anti-inflammatory. And what the anti-inflammatory does is makes the nerve less inflamed. Now, this makes sense because apparently nerves become, become inflamed. So if the nerve's being squashed, it becomes inflamed, it becomes tighter. The person ends up in more pain. That removes the inflammation on the nerve, gives it more space, and that helped a lot. I was then able to take some very, very light painkillers, and that was brilliant. It means I wasn't falling asleep all the time, I wasn't sort of like generally passing out. That was fantastic. And what fixed it in the end was a surgery to remove that bit of disc that was pointing, that was poking into that nerve. And it was done in the morning, I was awake in the afternoon, when I found out what was available for dinner, I went home. It's not, you know, there's a back surgery, they say nowadays they do it all the time, the surgeon's like, yeah, 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 you'll be fine. The worst thing that can happen is you might get a bit of numbness in your leg. It's like, I'm in pain, I don't care about the numbness, just take the pain away. So yeah, bit of numbness, who cares? So, I'd say, back pain, don't let anybody convince you, if you're suffering badly, that it's some weird, mysterious thing. In a lot of cases, it is fixable, and at the very least, get your doctor to get you a scan. That way, if there is an actual mechanical problem, it can just be fixed. Good luck if you have this. Mr. Contest Chair. <laughs>